Investors have been waiting for Republicans to officially put forth their tax reform plan today. They got it. Months in the making, the president calls it a revolutionary change to the nation's tax code. The blueprint calls for drastically lower rates for business, fewer income tax brackets for individuals, and a much larger standard deduction, among other things. But as Elon Mui reports from Washington, a lot of details still need to be filled in. President Trump using a receptive crowd in Indiana to sell his tax framework as a salve for the middle class. We're doing everything we can to reduce the tax burden on you and your family. By eliminating tax breaks and loopholes, we will ensure that the benefits are focused on the middle class, the working men and women, not the highest income earners. The plan still leaves many unresolved questions, but it's got a lot for U.S. businesses. The corporate rate will go down to 20 percent. Pass-through businesses would get a 25 percent rate. The plan also allows for at least five years of full and immediate expensing. One of the trade-offs, though, is that the ability to deduct interest would be partially limited, though there's no detail on what that means. The plan does preserve two provisions that are important to businesses, the R&D tax credit and the low-income housing credit. But the deduction for domestic production, which is important for manufacturers, that one gets the ax. Under this framework, the U.S. would move to a territorial tax system. There would be two rates for money that's brought back, and the plan doesn't specify what those are, but the rate for illiquid assets would be lower than the one for cash. On Capitol Hill, leaders said the focus is on fairness and simplicity. Today, we are taking the next step to liberate Americans from our broken tax code. This unified framework delivers a new tax code that is simple, that is fair, that is pro-growth and pro-family. On the individual side, the new streamlined rates would be 12, 25 and 35 percent. But lawmakers do have a green light to add a fourth rate to the top. The alternative minimum tax, the estate tax, and the transfer tax, all of those would go away. The only personal deductions that the plan promises to keep are the ones for mortgage interest and for charitable donations. Opposition to this plan is already mounting. Senator Ron Wyden, the ranking member of the Senate Finance Committee, called this a sweetheart deal for powerful CEOs. And he said it violates Trump's promise that the wealthy would not benefit. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Ilan Mui in Washington.